Honest Marketing Techniques, Methods for Selling Downloadable Products Online, Part 2. Honest marketing techniques are time-proven techniques you can use to generate online income. In this series of articles, you will find the information to decide which methods are right for you. This information may also help you sort the good advertisements from the bad if you decide to purchase someone's program or membership. To choose a market, you have to understand the broad scope of online business. So far, you've read an overview plus information on physical and downloadable products. This article will provide more information about selling downloadable products online, with or without your own website. Most people will tell you that to be truly successful with online marketing you need your own website, and for the most part, that is true. However, it primarily depends on what you call successful. Yes, you do need your own site if you want to make really significant money or build an empire, but there are alternatives if you don't want to make it your life business, or to check it out before you invest in your own website, making money online without a website, I in a nutshell. To make money online without a website you will either be promoting affiliate products or hosting a blog that gains revenue from click-through from advertising content, perhaps both I and the latter, you could go to. A web 2.0 site, such as Blogger or Hubpages, and start a blog on a topic dear to you. There are quite a number of popular sites like this. You are allowed to build a web page, blog, on their site, which will also contain advertising of their choosing. The host makes money every time someone clicks on an ad that is featured on your blog pages, and you share in this revenue. This is called pay-per-click (PPC) and the prospect doesn't actually need to buy the product, just click on the ad. AdSense is one popular system that provides these ads to the hosts. The ads on your pages will usually be related to the topic you write about, so there is a higher chance of a prospect clicking on the ad. If your blog promotes a specific product, you would place your affiliate link in your blog postings. If your visitors click on the affiliate link, read the seller's advertising, sales, page and then purchase the product, you get a commission. This is in addition to any AdSense revenue you might get from the site. On the positive side, this costs you nothing except your time, and perhaps what you pay to buy an inexpensive how-to program to get you going. On the negative side, your site is on someone else's server, and you don't control what happens to it. The other big negative is that the conversion rate of a prospect that clicks on your affiliate link is usually pretty low, say 1%, and you usually only get one chance to capture the prospect as a customer making money online with your own website. The costs of having your own website are not all that great, and the benefits usually far outweigh the costs. You can purchase a domain name for $10 or $12, hosting for under $10 per month, and an autoresponder about $19 per month. Given an available discount on the first month web hosting, you can have your own website with autoresponder for about $30 per month. An autoresponder is a special application that sends out email messages at intervals you choose, so you can build a list of potential customers, you build a blog just as you would on a web 2.0 site, and drive traffic to your pages. However, instead of sending prospects directly to an affiliate link, you have them opt in to your newsletter. Using your autoresponder, you send emails to your subscribers and periodically promote a product with your affiliate link. The big difference here is twofold. One, it's a lot easier to get someone to sign up for a newsletter, especially if you offer a freebie to do so. Two, instead of a one-shot try with an affiliate link on your blog, you have numerous opportunities to promote products to your list. If you provide informative content, they will remain subscribers, often for years, and you may be able to sell the same people several different products over time. Today's key points, you can get started if you wish without your own website, but revenue will probably be less having your own site doesn't cost all that much, and can provide a much better return for your investment, along with long-term profit using your list. As we move to the next article in this series, we will look at some details about the two primary methods of selling products online with or without your own website. Look for our next article Honest Marketing Techniques, Making an Effective Opt-in or Squeeze Page.